Good morning. Or afternoon. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, hi, Rickles. Okay, so I just only have a second, but I wanted to come on and say this to you. So I have two high school teachers that I love so much. They have been in my life uh, since I was 15, 16, and Mr. Foreman and Miss Caruso. And, you know, over the years, we have stayed in touch. We have loved each other. We have poured into each other. We've looked out for each other. And, um, and you know, relationships change. Friendships change because people change and their capacity for large crowds or bars or whatever changes. So like maybe you like to meet for a drink, but someone doesn't drink. Or maybe you want to meet for coffee, but they're not a morning person. Whatever it is, you got to keep the, um, the good ones. You got to keep the good ones. You may have to adapt to the changes in the friendship. You may have to find a new way to see each other, a new way to hang out with each other, but like keep the good ones in your life to whatever capacity and whatever, like whatever acquiesce you have to make so long as it isn't crossing a boundary or so long as it isn't hurting you, um, you have to adjust to keep the good ones because like sometimes you know, maybe you've always gone out to eat and now they're, you know, have to eat differently or you've always gone out for drinks and now they're sober. Or you've always done things a certain way, but, you know, they don't, they can't do it that way anymore. Um, people get social anxiety. People get different issues and like they don't, you know, there's all different changes that come with people. Um, and... It's just a reminder that it's so worth keeping the good people in your life. It is so worth pouring into people and, 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 and loving them and letting them love you and saying like, here's how it needs to go for us to continue doing this. But I hope that we can continue doing this. Absolutely, like fight for the good ones, guys. Even if it means it has to look different, even if it means you've got to do things differently or see them differently or whatever, fight to keep the good ones. You want to know how my face is? You see this? I went to the dermatologist yesterday. It's just a scab that will eventually heal, but it doesn't look good. You don't want this shit on your face. Anyway, I just, um, but thank you for asking, by the way. If you have people in your life that ride with you and have ri ridden with you for decades and like whatever, um, now things look differently, that's okay. That is okay. Like everybody changes, everybody, things just change as you get older. Um, Maybe somebody that you used to like yuck it up with and go to bars and stay out all night now just wants to meet like quietly at your house, you know, and, and have a low key night and that's okay. That's okay. Anyway, fight to keep the good ones, guys. It's so freaking worth it. So worth it. And Foreman or Caruso, if either one of you are watching this, I love you. Thank you for making my whole day today. Um... I love that you uh, that you guys made the time to come see me. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Um, and I hope that you have a great, great day.